Ganale Dawa River Basin is one of the 12 river basins of Ethiopia, which is often named the Water Tower of Africa. Located in the southeastern part of the country, the Ganale Dawa River Basin covers an area of 66,000 square meters, and Ganale is one of the rivers in this basin. The Ganale River, which runs 858 kilometers from its origin to the destination, is created by tributaries rising from the Sadama and Bale Mountains. Now, a mega hydropower project known as Ganale Dawa 3 is being built along its course. This project will spearhead the nation's journey to prosperity. Located between the Bale and Guji zones of the Oromia state, the Ganale Dawa 3 project is 630 kilometers away from Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa. The project, which is jointly financed by the Ethiopian and Chinese governments, was launched in March 2011. Ethiopia awarded the project to the Chinese engineering giant CGGC, while the consultancy is run by an American firm named MWH. The hydropower dam has three important parts, the reservoir, the tunnel, and the powerhouse. A coordinated operation of these parts enables to generate electric power, and their construction goes simultaneously. The water tunnel runs a total of 12.4 kilometers. The tunnel drilling is done in two ways from two sides. The first method is drilling the tunnel by using various techniques and explosives. The second method is using a tunnel boring machine, TBM. In this project, much of the tunneling has been done by using this machine, and the day the TBM started operation marked a crucial phase in the dam construction. The TBM is a state-of-the-art earth drilling machine that is widely used in tunneling. It cuts through underground rocks and submerged ledges. Simultaneously, it drives the soil out to make way for the tunnel. The tunnel drilling is continuing in this way. The water from the reservoir rushes through the tunnel for over 12.4 kilometers to hit the turbines in the powerhouse to generate power. The powerhouse that harbors the turbines in the underground is under construction. CGGC is simultaneously undertaking the construction of the dam. It is filled with 3 million cubic meters of concrete. After three years of strenuous effort coupled with complex challenges, the digging of the water tunnel came to end with a successful breakthrough.
For this project, this day marked the end of battles against barriers and challenges in the underground drilling. Therefore, it is a special day of festivity for both the expats and local workers who saw this happen. Though the actual tunnel length is 12.4 kilometers, the drilling covers about 20 kilometers of tunnel length, including those used for other purposes. After the successful breakthrough, the remaining tasks can be undertaken easily. Construction is in full swing in all directions. The electromechanical works are in good progress in the powerhouse. Since this is part of the project where mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy, the tasks are run with great care and professionalism. Installation of turbines and generators is among the major activities carried out in the powerhouse. In line with the dam construction, installation of transmission lines is underway to connect the power plant to the national grid. The construction of the dam was completed in 2014. It has a height of 110 meters and a length of 426 meters. Now, all that is left is damming the Ganale River, which has been flowing throughout history without giving any benefits. The water in the reservoir kept rising beginning this day. The GD3 project is unique in that it receives rainwater from two rainy seasons. The dam has witnessed remarkable rise ever since impoundment began. The filling of the reservoir went beyond expectations. It was indeed astonishing that a huge water body was created in a matter of weeks in that otherwise arid area. This was a development never imagined by anyone. There was no expectation that such a huge artificial lake would be created within weeks. As the reservoir filled faster than expected, the experts are forced to release the water with the spillway.
reservoir, which has the capacity of holding about 2.5 billion cubic meters of water, will benefit them in many aspects. Apart from generating electric power, this massive man-made lake is used for irrigation, for their animals, fishing, transport, and others. This body of water will also improve the weather condition of the area. In fact, the local communities have been benefiting from the project from the onset. The youth who are employed here are generating income from the project and developing new technical skills. In addition, clearing of the area to be flooded by the reservoir has been given to the local people. This again enables them to generate more income. The Ethiopian workers who are devoted to make their country a power hub and the Chinese who are known for their hard work are now about to see the results of their efforts with the completion of the project. Through the process, the project has given immense benefits and enabled to create a national capacity in this sector. GD3 project, the sparkle of the East, which has gone through lots of hurdles for eight years, has now come to an end to give light. No doubt that Ethiopia is racing against time to provide electric power to urban and rural households, power its growing manufacturing industry, and increase its power export to neighboring countries, advancing its mega projects, affecting its rural electrification program, and boosting power export to neighboring countries need developing in its power sector. Ethiopia has recently been using its rivers for expediting development. If pressed ahead more vigorously, this grand scheme of utilizing natural resources helps the nation join the bandwagon of prosperity in the near future.